Another family moved out downstairs. You know what that means. Let the scavenging begin. Oh, man. You know the only thing we have in the fridge? No, what? Brussels sprouts. Disgusting, nasty, tasteless Brussels sprouts. You know, that's not really fair. Brussels sprouts can be really good when cooked correctly. Says you. Mark, mm. what's the most important part of being broke? If it's edible, find a way to eat it. And are Brussels sprouts edible? Barely. Then we should find a way to eat them? Yes. Okay. All right, folks, we're making Brussels sprouts. Odds are you have a bag of these sitting in the back of the freezer, collecting ice, never to see the light of day. Which is a shame because they're so delicious if cooked correctly. Which doesn't mean boiling them into an unrecognizable mess. Just get a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and you're good to go. We're also going to need a plastic sandwich bag. Thanks, Julio. We've trained him so well. Mm -hmm. Man, go fuck yourselves. So, first step, just drop everything into the plastic bag. Now add three spoonfuls of oil. And salt and pepper to taste, which means a lot. James. Which means a moderate amount which won't overwhelm the flavor of the vegetable. Mm-hmm. Jerk. And now, for the fun part. Time to shake it up! Still single, uh, ladies. That was my mating dance. All right, with the sprouts good and shaken, pour them onto a baking sheet. Otherwise known as the rack from your toaster oven, covered in foil. Mm-hmm. Pour, 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 pour. Mm-hmm. Spread them out a little bit. Now, we're gonna set the oven to 400 degrees and wait for 45 minutes. 45 minutes? That's a pretty long wait. Yep. Which is why editing power activates. Wait a minute, this isn't 45 minutes into the future. No, it's five minutes into the future. You see, you need to make sure the sprouts cook evenly. So every five minutes, reach in, grab the tray, and give it a little, give it a little shake to move those suckers around. My turn. Go ahead. Editing power! Activate! Perfect timing. Okay, so now that the sprouts are done, check the color. You want them to be a nice dark brown. When you're sure they're done, sprinkle a little salt on top for flavor. And that's it! Mm -hmm. Now, eat the sprout. <laughs> but I really don't have to, it's kind of... Eat. The. Sprout. Mm -hmm. Fine. I guess I'll just have to eat the rest on my own. I can help you out a little bit if you really No, it's cool. Me. No, come on, man. You know you want I'm to. I'm serious. I will cut you. Super Pals, hope you've been enjoying Hand to Mouth here at the theater. If you have, be sure to subscribe for more awesome content coming all year from your favorites like Mark Franklin Williams, mm -hmm. John Brent, Jason Axon, Zach Wiener, JP Nickel, and me, James Ashby. Click subscribe. You don't want to miss it. Click. Mm -hmm. Just and click. It, and if you think you haven't had enough Brussels sprouts, <sighs> check out the Broke Eats YouTube channel. You know what's awesome? You get an extended edition showing you extra ways to make that stuff, you know, more edible than it was before. I show you how to make Brussels sprouts amazing. Check it out. Mm -hmm. But first, subscribe. Subscribe. You gotta subscribe. Do it. Please? Do it. We don't have real family, so if you don't subscribe, that's like, that's like shooting my dog. Wait. Is... It's like shooting my dog in the face. What do you mean we don't have real family? Please subscribe. We don't have family. No, not anymore. Subscribe.